Proverbs 16, verse 3 says this, Commit your activities to the Lord, and your plans will be achieved. If you would like a formula for successful living that never fails, here it is. Include God in every aspect of your life's journey, including all the plans you make and each step you take. But beware, often we're given grand ideas from God, but we never achieve those ideas because we do not keep walking towards it. As you make plans for the days and the weeks ahead, even the years ahead, it's all too easy to be sidetracked by the chores of everyday living. Let me give you my formula, A, B, C. Write down all the things that you want to do in the next month. Then second, put in A category all those things that if you didn't do, your life would come to a halt. The important things that you want for tomorrow, the things that God has inspired you to do, those are A priorities. The B priorities are under that. Things that if you put off till tomorrow, well, you would still be alive and living and everything would be working. But B priorities are still important. They must be done tomorrow or the next day. And then the C priorities. So often, the majority of people get caught up in C category things like renewing a magazine subscription, looking on the internet, on Amazon to buy something that you've been thinking about and you are kind of fantasizing about. Those things waste time, and yet we can spend days, weeks, even years in C priority. If you only got done the A priority items, your life would be a huge success. So write down everything that you have to do in the next period of time, whatever that is, and then divide and conquer. What are the A priorities? What are the B? And what are the C priorities? And if you do that every day, especially you business people, well, you'll have great success ongoing. If you allow the world to establish your priorities, you'll eventually become discouraged, disappointed, or both. But if you genuinely seek God's will for every important decision you make, your loving, heavenly God will guide your steps and will enrich your life. So as you plan your work, remember that every good plan should start and it will end with God. It has been said by Freeman, God has a plan for your life. Do you? God bless you.